It's likely that you're hearing many personal anecdotes about Kobe Bryant, so here's mine. I met Kobe one time backstage at an event for ESPN in New York, and I saw him and I thought, oh my gosh, that's Kobe. I got to get a picture for the gram. Hmm. That's the picture. I didn't get it for a few minutes because as I approached him, he immediately commented on my rather large eight-month pregnant belly. How are you? How close are you? What are you having? Mm -hmm. A girl, I said, and then he high-fived me. Girls are the best. I asked him for advice on raising girls, seeing as though he quite famously had three at the time. And he said, just be grateful that you've been given that gift because girls are amazing. His third daughter, Bianca, was about a year and a half old at the time. So I asked if he wanted more children. And he said that his wife, Vanessa, really wanted to try again for a boy, but was sort of jokingly concerned that it would be another girl. And I was like, four girls, are you joking? Like, what would you think? How would you feel? And without hesitation, he said, I would have five more girls if I could. I'm a girl dad. When it came to sports, he said that his oldest daughter was an accomplished volleyball player and that the youngest was a toddler, so TBD. But that middle one, he said, that middle one was a monster. She's a beast. She's better than I was at her age. She's got it. That middle one, of course, was Gigi. When I reflect on this tragedy and that half an hour that I spent with Kobe Bryant two years ago, I suppose that the only small source of comfort for me is knowing that he died doing what he loved the most, being a dad, being a girl dad.